Is it possible that all life comes from the water? And we still have this attraction to things in the water and we just like to stare at it? I have never even considered living somewhere else. I've never seen a place that's as cool as Hood Canal in the Olympic Peninsula. I don't, I honestly don't think there's any place that's more amazing than here. The mountains, the rivers, and all the streams that run into Hood Canal, the wildlife, the beauty, my whole life story is that. I've just been watching. I always noticed what the rivers were like. I always noticed the streams. I always noticed what kind of fish were in them. And I think I learned that from my granddad. He was a uh, naturalist and he lived, completely lived off the land. And he uh, hunted and he trapped and he dug up wild native plants and sold them on the side of the road until he was 90 years old. I spent all my time with him. I learned where the elk were, I learned where the deer were, and what kind of animals did this and that, and raising fish in ponds that we made in our backyard. Most of all, I just went fishing in all the creeks. One thing I did notice was the numbers of steelhead juveniles that were in all the rivers that I was fishing all the time. There were hundreds of four to six inch steelhead in every spot you tried to fish when I was a youngster. We would fish off the dock and I remember catching giant skate, lingcod, cabazon, any kind of fish you can imagine right off the dock in Hoodsport. And they just disappeared in the 80s. They just were gone. And that makes me really sad. I've been working with Long Live the King since 1993. We rear multiple age groups of multiple different species of fish. We worked with the summer chum populations in Hood Canal. We've done Chinook here, we've done spring Chinook. We've done steelhead. I know how to raise really healthy fish. And I also know what the habitat out here can support. I'm a, a forester. I'm a naturalist, a farmer. Everything that I do is what I grew up doing. It's been just a dream. I mean, it's just flown by so fast and the stuff that I get to do for Long Live the Kings is just exactly what I think I was born to do. I get lost in my life and other things just like everybody else does, but I get to come here and get reminded every day that there's other things that are more important than a lot of the things humans do. Because we won't be able to do them if we destroy it all. One thing that salmon never do is give up. If you want to be persistent and get something done, just become a salmon. Anything is possible. There's hope for I think every species in every watershed. I want my descendants to be able to enjoy the world like I did. I'm hopeful, hopeful for the future. I think that uh, we sure can't give up yet. I'm not gonna give up. <laughs>